Today we're talking about how barometers work. This is an antique banjo barometer, which you might have seen in homes a long time ago in America or across the world. But there are three basic types of barometers. A liquid barometer, a mercury barometer, and an aneroid barometer. An aneroid barometer is the most popular and that's used by most amateurs. That's what you'll buy in the store the most. And what it is, is there's a little box made of a metallic substance. It's kind of a combination of beryllium and copper. And as pressure changes, that box will change shape. And essentially all you have to do is connect through a series of gears, a little needle. And as the shape of the aneroid capsule changes, that changes, that causes the needle to move. And you can actually see it and measure it once you put it on a dial such as this. Now mercury barometers work by the air pressure, the weight of the air pushing down on a vial of mercury. Inside that vial in the middle of it there's a tube that's filled with mercury. As the air pressure pushes down on the vial of mercury what happens is the pressure goes up, it causes the mercury to rise up in the tube and that causes the reading to go up. All air pressure is is the weight of the air pushing down. When we have high pressure that causes more weight to be pushing down on the ground and that causes the readings to go up. Generally you have pretty weather like we have here today. When the pressure is falling, the air is rising, that means there's less pressure being put on the ground or in the case of a mercury barometer, there's less pressure being put on the mercury in the vial so the pressure drops on the inside.